Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, The English Virgin. I hope you like this video, it's such a simple bracelet. And well yeah, let's just get straight to it. So this bracelet is really different from the others. And what I do, if you have a lot of strings, left over like when you're done with the bracelet and there's a lot of string left and I think it's a waste to just throw them away so what I do is I have a special bag for all my left over strings see and only in this bag I have like um, strings that are really long but not long enough for a bracelet, you know? So yes, so what I do with these is I make this bracelet. So, what you're gonna need is leftover strings that hopefully you've saved, or if you haven't, you can just cut pieces. You guys will see what I mean. But anyways, also you're gonna need strings that are going to be your base strings so that means that they're going to be you're not going to use the strings to do knots but they're going to be the strings where you're going to do the knots on so they're the base strings okay so the length of the strings it's up to you it has to be long enough that will that will go around your wrist and a little extra so that way you can braid it and you can tie it so maybe like like five inches extra like that like five inches each side from your um, wrist length okay so here I have black it can be any color it can be more than one color it's up to you okay so now you're gonna need your leftover string so here I separated some see here I have some okay and all you can do is do a whole bunch of forward knots okay so I'm gonna grab the first string I'm just grabbing whatever I see first and it's this one which is actually kind of long but it's fine okay so we're gonna make a whole bunch of forward knots with the first string that I pulled out out of my leftover strings, okay? So, you're gonna grab the yellow string, or whatever color it is, and your first base string, okay? And you're gonna make a forward knot, so just like this. Okay. And then you're gonna let go with just like this. Okay? And remember every forward knot or every knot it's made of double knots. So there you go. So this is a forward knot. And here it is. Okay, so yes, that's supposed to be hanging like this because then we're gonna cut it okay so now we're gonna continue with all the forward knots so I think I didn't mention it before but I have five strings okay I have five base strings so there's not five I meant six <laughs> sorry so I have six and four and I'm just making simple forward knots five and six there you go see just like that and we're just gonna let it hanging okay so now, 
something that I forgot to mention again is that I'm using six. You can use more than six, depending on how thick you want your bracelet. I don't want mine to be thick because with the because I'm gonna cut my strings at the sides a bit longer. Okay, so now you grab your other one. It's up to you to pick to pick the color that you want. Maybe I want a bright one. So here I have this one. So there you go. And we'll do the same thing. So there are your whole strings. So you're gonna grab it and then just like you're making two half knots. So one forward knot. So see this is what you're supposed to have. So it's over the string but then under and then it has to end up with over the string, okay? And then you make another knot and we pull and there you go. See? And then we continue with the forward knot. And actually that's basically it, that's all you do. So I'm gonna do like a couple more so that way you guys can see me actually cut the strings at the sides. Okay. So last three. Same thing. Grab the two strings. Okay. And then just go over and then like this. And make another half knot. And then pull. And finish with the four nuts. Now, don't be afraid to just use all the colors you have, okay? Because I think it looks really unique and pretty, even if the colors don't go well together. If you guys know what I mean, okay? So this is the third string that I've used, so I'm going to use a couple more. This one's going to be fast forward so it will be faster and this video won't be that long, okay? So now I'm just going to continue. Okay, so I made a few more, okay? So now we're gonna grab our scissors, then you decide how long you wanna leave these strings, okay? So I want them a bit long, so like this. I need new scissors, oh there you go. Okay, maybe I change my mind and I'll cut them again a bit shorter. And then I'll oh, just, it's kind of weird how. It's gonna cut that like this, so it's easier for me. Okay. There you go. So actually, I got this one shorter, so I'm gonna 
that this means again. Yeah, it is kind of hard because I'm really too close to the clip. But you see what I mean? So to just this side. Okay, so I'm going to cut this really fast and then I'll show you guys. So there you go. That's, I know I said a little bit longer, but I like it this way. So there you go. I know right now it just looks like kind of like not that great. But once you have the desired length of the bracelet, it looks really cool. So I'm going to continue with this so you guys can appreciate more the design, of course. So, but basically it's just grab whatever strength you have, okay? And started with just like making a forward knot all the way you can cut the strings after you're done with the first one and like that or you can do it like me which is like make five or ten and then cut the strings all together it's up to you so let's continue shall we <laughs> It's longer and it looks better like this instead of just like like when you first start this bracelet it just looks weird but once you're done this is how it looks you can put it on this way or this way to me they both look pretty okay so I decided to finish them with like a rope braid Okay. I didn't I don't like to tie knots in the beginning or at the end just because I think it looks better like this more like more neat more professional if I might add but see this is how it looks I hope you like this bracelet if you did please like this video I also invite you guys to like my Facebook page which is bilingual and it's about friendship bracelets. I share some work that I do, materials, pictures, and of course YouTube videos. And that's basically it. If you would like to see more tutorials of how to make this beautiful friendship bracelets, then please subscribe and we will see you next time. Yay!